Let's start the live, live KCM Lecture 5 session, uh, Mitra, Mitra Transcontinental Edge to Edge to Repair. My name is Chung Sung Kim, Yonsei University uh, Severance Hospital. Co-chair is Takeshi Matsumoto. Recently, he moved to the Shonan Kamakura General Hospital. In this session, live case is prepared in Asam Medical Center, and two distinguished uh, speakers will deliver at, uh, a 10 minutes talk each. And at the end of lecture, discussion will six excellent panelists, Kam Tim Chen, Mike Lee, Jian uh, Jian Bao Liu, Owen Christopher Raphael, Tegu Santoso, KKO is scheduled. So it's time to move on the live demonstration. Are Dr. Kang and Dr. Kim ready to get started? Yeah. Good morning, Dr. Kim and Dr. Machoto, and uh, I'm Dr. Kang. Dr. Do Yung-gang from Asa Medical Center. Uh, thank you for joining our live case in AP Vebs 2021. Uh, my team, I will introduce my team. I'm Dr. Gang and Dr. Dae Kim, our echo specialist, and he will uh, he will show us the beautiful TE images. And Dr. Ui Hong Ko, well, our international fellow, will join our procedure. And Dr. Ko, can you please introduce okay. our patient? Okay, thank you. The patient is uh, 74 years old. Could you, can you see the slide? Okay, thank you. A patient is uh, 74 years old female, had a sudden dyspnea on neck surgeon one month ago, even under guideline directed medical therapy for heart failure. And she had a history of myocardial infection and underwent PCI about uh, 15 years ago. And next. Her medical histories are diabetes and hypertension, and uh, SDS score for mitral valve replacement is 79%, and the mitral valve repair is 4.1%, and the BMI 24.3 kilogram per millimeter square, uh, a little bit uh, small size of uh, compared to the Asian population. And she had a history of a previous PCI, 196 in 1907 and uh, 2007. And next, EKG showing the uh, sinus rhythm. And next, a little bit uh, enlargement of the cardiomegaly. And next, and uh, this is a uh, coronary angiography on the admission to the hospital. Uh, there is some stenosis, I ISR, but uh, still functionally not significant. And next. So this is a, a, a MR, cardiac MR, showing the transmural delayed enhancement and the sub end of my cardiac delayed enhancement on the uh, LAD and the circumflex territories. And next, this is a trans uh, thoracic echo. Left side is uh, in 2018, and the right side is uh, 2000, uh, 2021. And as you can see, there is some eccentric MR flow uh, compared to the 2018 and uh, suspicion of the uh, uh, caudal rupture of the A3. And this patient have a severe LV dysfunction, LVEF is 32%, and MR PISA is a 10 millimeters, and LS size is relatively larger, 55, uh, 51 millimeter, and the uh, mitral valve area is 4.9 centimeter square. And, and next. As you can see, the eccentric MR due to the uh, S3 code rupture. And next. Okay, uh, today uh, I would like to show you the uh, TEE image right now. Like, uh, Professor yes. Dae Kim, please. Okay, this is Dae Kim from Asam Medical Center. Good morning, everyone. Can you see the echo image right now? Yeah, yes. we can. Yes. Yeah, forgive DJ appearance. Uh, today is not beautiful image because the echo is not good. <laughs> this is mid as budget for chamber view. Uh, as, you, as you see in TT uh, finding, the patient, uh, she had initially ischemic MR. After then, the dyspnea will be due to cause the rupture of A3 portion. In bicommissional view, you can clearly see uh, A3 portion cord rupture may be involved uh, with a uh, slightly commissural part, and then a uh, slightly relative porous portion of the A2, and maybe uh, extremely uh, tethering of posterior plate and relative prolapse of anterior plate uh, uh, causing uh, ischemic MR. We, uh, in color flow image, you can clearly see a big picture in A3 quarter of the portion and multiple jets in other areas. 
we are focusing uh, A3 portion. You can see big picture in uh, ruptured quarter A3 portion. And uh, pipeline view, uh, you can clearly see big coaptation gap in A3 quarter rupture area and second ruptured quarter. Severe MRZ here, and the pizza radius was uh, uh, 10 millimeter at uh, 40 centimeter LED velocity, indicating severe MR. However, the problem is the patient had multiple uh, functional MRZ and everywhere, and here and here. Uh, in heart team discussion, we initially recommended surgery, mitral valve surgery uh, for her but she uh, refused uh, the surgery. That's the problem we have uh, mitral clip uh, right now. In 3D image, you can see uh, A3 prolapse and quadrupture here, and then I think that uh, this is, seems like a cleft, uh, but uh, in color flow image, They put uh, MI jet here from and big picture from A3 portion, but no color flow in uh, uh, cleft seems like uh, aerial. I think that you should a cleft or were a kind of cleft like indentation to A2 portion and huge functional MR uh, right here, mainly A2 portion. It's more clear uh, 3D image and A3 uh, quarter of the portion and uh, cleft like indentation, maybe echo drop, no uh, color flow jet from here, and mainly a uh, relative prolapse area and posterior tethered area causing ischemic area right here. Uh, initially, we uh, uh, plan to place initial clip uh, A3 portion uh, NTW. After then, uh, considering her uh, pressure gradient, we apply XTW or something like that. Uh, we uh, need at least two, two clip uh, for uh, this patient. Okay, thank you, Dr. Kim. Uh, but yeah, uh, okay. I, I, I'll yeah. show the permeable flow. But initially, oh, yeah. uh, both permeable uh, pressures shows uh, severe permeable reversal. But for several days, we uh, did aggressive diuretic therapy. After then, right up, permeable vein shows uh, permeable flow reversal and blunting. However, in left up permeable vein, uh, the permeable uh, flow reversal, systole reversal was dis uh, disappeared. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Kim. And let me summarize the patient history and the current situation. The patient is a 74-year-old female and has a long-standing ischemic heart failure for 15 years after a myocardial infarction 15 years ago. Her ejection fraction was about 38 and about 40 or less or more for 15 years. And chronic, chronic heart failure was well controlled with the guided guideline-directed medical therapy. But one month ago, she had a sudden dyspnea and we checked the echo, and the echo showed acute uh, caudal rupture and caudal rupture-related degenerative MR. So the patient has a functional and degenerative MR component both, and the, the patient is uh, relatively young, young, but the heart failure and high surgical risk, and the patient refused surgery, so we now selected to perform the mitral clip for this patient. And as Dr. Kim said, the patient has the uh, degenerative caudal rupture related MR at the medial segment and functional segment in the central uh, reflex. So uh, we are targeting both two components of the MR. And I want to ask the, the experienced panelist about the, uh, about the patient uh, situation and opinion about the procedure. About, yeah. yeah. I think that this is a very somewhat typical yeah. Yeah, case, yeah, with a degenerative component and functional component. Is there any suggestion for this case? So this is a very tough case, uh, Kang, Dr. Yeah. Kang. So uh, it is for it, it's for sure too. We need to treat uh, perhaps the A3 region, but concerns on functional MR from center to P2. Uh, do you think uh, how much is uh, Mitral area of uh, mitral valve orifice. It mitral valve orifice area was 4.5 square centimeter. 4.5. Yes. So, do you use both? Uh, do you, uh, sorry, do you treat both uh, functional and the EMR? Oh yeah. <laughs> the concern is as you as you are, uh, as you pointed out, the point the problem is the valve area. If we treat the both degenerative 
media and functional center, then mitral valve area can be decreased and some mitral stenosis component can occur. And so, so our plan is to treat the medial segment with relatively small NTW clip and then check the mitral functional MR status and mitral valve area or pressure gradient and we'll decide whether to treat the functional MR component or not. I see. And I agree. Hello. Yeah, hello. Good morning, Dr. Yeah, this yeah. is uh, KG Chen. Can you oh, hear yeah. me? Oh, yes. Oh, Dr. Chen. Yeah, I can hear yes, you. Yes, nice to see you. Yeah. Well, this patient got long-standing history of ischemic cardiomyopathy. Yeah. So what I think is uh, the probability of factors that account for the sudden progressive deterioration recently yeah. must be the uh, rupture of that quality of the A3. Yeah. So I agree that we need to treat that caudal rupture first. Of course, surgery is the best option in view of the relatively young age and the STS score of around 4% for mitral valve repair. But unfortunately, the patient refused surgery. So a percutaneous approach with uh, mitral clip is a reasonable option to tackle the uh, second, uh, ta tackle the primary ML first due to the caudal rupture and then see how it progress. Yes. All right, in some other center in Hong Kong, because the primary pathology is the caudal rupture, some center, but not in my center, may try a new cord artificial caudal procedures, but the surgeon, they need a tranabical uh, approach, and then they put in some artificial uh, cord by the new cord system. Then it seems that the initial result is quite satisfactory, but there's another option. But short of that, then I think uh, the retainers, uh, mitral valve repair, with the G4 system is a very good, uh, reasonable choice. Yeah, unfortunately, the nail cord is not available in Korea now. So yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. It, after... It's also not available <laughs> in my country. Yeah, yeah. I envy you. <laughs> then I will show you the. Uh, thank you for your uh, great uh, opinions. And now we did the septal puncture at the posterior and superior position. It was a little bit hard to find a good septal puncture position. And after the septal puncture, we checked the. The, we check the LA pressure. Can you show the pressure now? Yeah. Yeah. You can see the, you can see the prominent V wave with the peak LA pressure 32 and average 20 with the prominent V wave. And now we are in the LA. We, <coughs> uh, in, we uh, advanced the, the steroid guide catheter and edge plan we insert, inserted the NTW system into LA. Then I will begin my procedure. Can you please show the echo? I will do the M dive mm -hmm. from here. Can you see the tip yeah. of the okay. clip? Oh, it, it's nearby the uh, append, LA appendage and uh, waffle and reach. Yes, it's, it's not touching the... Yeah, yeah, sure, definitely. Reach, okay. So we are approaching to the medial side because the medial side is, has a very complex Let me check the vibram right now. And the angle is very difficult to attack. So I'm approaching very cautiously. Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah, can yeah, you yeah, see yeah, yeah. the clip in echo? Okay. First, we are using the MyTravel NTW system and we'll target the medial component, medial degenerative component. <coughs> we'll check the trajectory. Mm, you are already there. Yeah. yeah. So what was the septal height? 4.2 centimeters. Septal height was 4.2. 4.2. Mm. Yeah, we did our best. <laughs> yeah. Because it was the region of the little bit delay. Okay, yeah. yeah, the position is good. Okay. Dr. Plan, do you feel that steerability of the guide is uh, much better as compared to the few previous generations? Oh, it's yes, good. it's much better, I think. Yeah, uh, it's much better. The, the movement is much uh, much softer, and there is uh, the instance at the occurrence of the kinking or other tension related event is much uh, lower with the G4 system. How do you think? with the use of the G4 system? 
What was your Any comment? experience? There is a, usually one of, one of the advantages there is no M dive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Compared to the previous version. So, go, 한번 보여주시겠어요? 3D. So, okay. Wait, wait. Let me check. What, 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 is, what is your opinion to choose the NTW in this case? Is but, there any comments from yeah. the panelists? Is, is it appropriate? Uh, I think the device? difficulty yeah. Uh, yeah. is it's so medial and um, what we found initially using the longer clip, um, the uh, clip okay, arms tend to get in the way of the annulus and so yeah. it gets deflected all the time and your perpendicularity orientation changes as well. So I think it, it's a okay, good choice the, the to, is good. because it is so medial to use the, mm, okay. the clip with the smaller arms, yes. Uh, as my pr uh, presentation, uh, I usually use uh, just standard entity for this like a non central position, but this case is a little bit uh, tricky because patient has mixed etiology, so LV is dilated, so there is space in under the uh, mitral valve. So maybe uh, I also use uh, NTW, same as yeah, Dr. Yeah. Kang. Agree. Right. <coughs> I might. Um, we, we had a, we did a similar case yesterday. Um, and uh, you know we we were struggling to Let's decide check between the orientation NTW and uh, once NT. more, Dr. Yeah. Gao. Um, but but I think it's uh, it's uh, it's an option to choose either one. Uh, can I ask? Uh, I think the, considering the major position, the position is good. Yeah, rotation is good. Yeah. Let go ahead. Yeah. Yes, Dr. Gao, what? Uh, oh no, I was just wondering about yeah. the uh, trajectory of your the medial lateral trajectory of this clip. Uh, how's the trajectory like? Yeah, let, Let's let check the check. trajectory yeah. Yeah, after uh, close the clip. Okay, trajectory is a little bit. A little bit L type, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah even more. Lateral. Medial movement. How about this trajectory? Do, uh, do you want to check orientation again, yes. Dr. Gang? Okay, let's look at the real time. Mm -hmm. I guess the orientation is good. What would be the best uh, the rotational angle of the medial or lateral side? Still perpendicular to the annulus plane or rotate a little bit uh, counterclockwise or clockwise? What do you see? Your Please opinion? use yeah. abnormal uh, more. I, when I treat a medial side, I usually uh, rotate a little bit uh, counterclockwise. Yes. Yeah. And I like a M dive, medial dive. Yeah. Medial dive with M dive yeah, 11, 11, 11, 5. Okay. Can, can I ask uh, what uh, what uh, angle is your II at? Is it uh, is it RAO or what? Or is it uh, AP? It's the AP view. AP. Okay. Yeah. 다시 한번 여기서 한번 더 볼까요? 조금 돌아가. Orientation. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Let's check the orientation okay. again. Yeah. I, I don't know if the other panelists use it as well, but we have recently, once we get the orientation in the atrium, we move the NGO so that mm, the, uh, the uh, two, uh, two rotate arms are overlapped. Uh, and that's a good okay, way that's of, good, that's uh, good. because often when we dive into okay. the LV, it moves a little bit. Uh, but uh, and if we use the, NGO, the orientation clip is uh, located oh, uh, more medially, yeah. but slightly place move uh, uh, more centrally. Yeah, okay, let's check the 2D image again. Yes. Uh, sometimes the clip rotation is changed when we uh, advance the clip into LV. And, but in this medial uh, situation, the rotating in the LV is a little bit difficult. Do you have any tips or tricks to overcome this situation? Um, you know, um, uh, Dr. Kang, you know, it's a very it's a complex case. I was just wondering when I look at your AP film, on floral, the curve of the uh, of of your CDS is is very acute, um, yeah. and on the echo, the um, the dive of the catheter is, is I'm 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 just a bit worried about that. I'm not sure whether that is what's happening there. Um, maybe mm. we will try to have a look again okay. because the the angle is very acute. Usually they say not to go more than ninety degrees. Yeah, I think 
you know, I would like to just move a little bit the media and a uh, lateral and, and then check the, the trajectory yeah. and okay, then go to the medium right side. Yeah, Do you want I, to check the orientation again? Is important. Yeah. And then we can use the multi view yeah. to see whether the the, the clip is oh. oriented or, or, or not. Anteriorly directed. Yeah. yeah. Please locate more immediately. Mm. Okay. To posteriorly. Okay. Here. Let's move to 2D image again. Clip it. I cannot. Uh, the clip is not mm. well visualized in the echo. Okay, right here. Yeah. Now we can see where. Mm. Uh, is the position okay? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Let's check the color again. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The the that's mm. the point. Yeah. We have to locate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then before getting into the LV, I will check the gripper because it has the independent gripper before moving in. I'll check the clip for function. Okay. Let's check uh, orientation again. Now I can see what is inferior the anterior and posterior clipper. Okay, 이렇게 들어가 보겠습니다. Okay, that's yeah. good. Yeah. So, Dr. Kang. Yes. Why don't you give it a little bit uh, minus knob? Minus knob? Yes. Okay. It's a little bit far from uh, out, outer AO. Okay, I will use a little bit. And then, uh, counterclockwise guide. Yes. How about, how about this? Yeah, it looks like getting better. Yeah. That looks better. Yeah, it looks better. Yeah. Yes, then I will. Okay, better, better, better than before. Get into yeah, the track is good. Yes. And Please uh, close clip. Yeah, yeah. Did you yeah. close the clip again? Yes, and then mm. I open the clip again. One hundred and twenty degree. Mm, let's check the orientation again. Yeah. Okay, after we use the three again. Orientation is good. good. Yeah, with yeah, a, a little so. bit 11 o'clock counterclockwise rotation. And okay. can you please yeah, check the good. pizza rota uh, location? Mm, that's the point. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The head yeah. of the pizza. Then I will try to catch. Okay, let's. Uh... Oh, I watch your technique with great interest. This is a great technique, especially if. Uh, we, uh, uh, we don't want to catch the cord, uh, especially because uh, you're using an uh, anti uh, W. Yeah. This is a great technique. I admire you. So it's a bit Oh, it's a bit caught. Yeah, the yeah, anterior is uh, not, okay. yeah. Anterior, anterior flay is not on, on the gripper. I think there can be some. Entanglement. And mm. yeah, on the yeah. repairs of that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that some kind of, uh, yeah, you replace entrainment maybe. Okay. Let's check the 3D again. Uh, oh, Dr. Gang? Yeah. yeah, let's check the 3D again. Okay. some Cora entanglement. On the grip part. Ah, okay. But yeah. rotation is good, but uh, I think the posterior part of the some core there. Yeah. You know, sometimes uh, if it's too hard to see the clip arms, it's may maybe helpful to go to a di dedicated LVOT view because your very your media also the standard views may not work that well. Yeah. Posterior got calling what? Yeah. Just a little bit. Look. Mm, okay. Okay. Posterior calling got call. Is the do you think the posterior replay is in three mm. in, uh, in clip is system? Mm. There's, there's a lot of shadowing. Yeah, yeah the echo oh. image is not so good now. It's not so good now. 
클립을 앨범을 좀 밀어넣는 게 나을 것 같은데. 네, 살짝 넣어보겠습니다. Please uh, move the clip uh, deeper into the LV. 네, slightly deeper. 많이 넣었어요. So, we are in. Slightly more deeper. 위험한데. Oh, it seems to be. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. That looks free now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, pipeline is much less. And let's check the angle again. And let's yeah, catch three D please. Yeah. Okay. Okay, angle is good. Yeah. Yeah. And. How about the location, pizza location? Okay, let's check the color again. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. Then there is a, I can see the bread segment. Uh, let me check and catch the. By yeah. Prince Macho, yeah. Yeah. Right over there. Anterior is not on the anterior. Yeah, anterior is not on the anterior. Now, Echo is good. Echo image is good now. Okay, best image. Okay. Do you think that you have enough uh, anterior tissue? Uh, anterior is not. No, 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 it's better. Anterior is not on the anterior. Is on the egg. <coughs> How about now? Gripper is moving. Yeah, poster is uh, on the. Uh, anterior, anterior is not fully captured. But I think. Okay, Cam. Yeah. You know the T4 got the independent grafting uh, clipper. Oh yes. So are you routinely using that, or you only apply that independent grafting uh, mechanism in selected cases? Oh, uh, I do not routinely use the the independent grafting. Usually, we use the. You have to grasp anterior more. Yeah. I use the gripper. I catch the gripper, or again, or in one time, and sometimes I use the independent gripper. To catch mm. the uncaptured segment, okay, I will try to catch the anterior portion some more. 아까 뷰 굉장히 좋았는데 한번 다시 보여줄 수 있어요? Okay. Yeah. 좀 그좀 explain 좀 하자. 그렇죠. Good. About this. Okay. Okay. 안테리어가 좀 잡혔나? Oh, this is good. Mm. Okay. That looks like a good amount of anterior. How about the posterior? Oh, yeah, mm. that, that's on, on, on the clip, yeah. Okay, uh, let's close the clip. Yeah, 60 degree closed. Mm -hmm. Can you yeah, let's check? take the color. Yeah. Oh, full close, please. I will very close the clip. Yes, hmm. the clip is fully closed. Let's check uh, yeah. the image again. I think that you moved clip more medially yeah. because the uh, ruptured code mm -hmm. is remain right here. I think the best position is uh, here. Yeah, you, you can, can move see. the clip yeah. uh, more it's medially just, from yeah, here. Agree. Yeah, I can agree. see the correct segment uh, yeah. in that image. That completely occluded uh, yeah. the ruptured code. You can see clearly. I will move a little bit medially. Yeah. yeah. Can you please show me the biplane image? Okay. Open the clip and move to medially a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. How good. about here? Yeah, I can see the prolapse segment. Mm -hmm. Please. And can you please check the 3D oh, okay. to see the angle? Okay. okay, I think good. Should I move more medially or? Uh, I think that okay. this is the uh, better than before, and this is the right position we initially planned. Okay. Okay, let's check the color. Okay, but let's uh, grasp here. Yeah. Okay, this is the best position. Yes. The, the image like that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's try. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, this patient is not good yeah, echo window. Yeah, and lateral position always the image yeah, yeah, is yeah, yeah, difficult. Yeah. Yeah. The heavy shadowing from the, the echo cardiographer has must have the very strong arm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is good. Yeah. Okay, now I'll try. 
catch. Oh, okay, right here. Is the posterior rip-rip catch? Check, let's check uh, move it uh, by plane again. Okay. Okay. But uh, you can uh, grasp uh, posterior more. Posterior more. Okay. Move a little bit. Okay, the, better than before. Yeah, very difficult situation. Actually, yeah. I cannot see. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot see leaflet very well. Okay, yeah. Did, did, yeah. Uh, mm. Okay, you should okay. Yes. You know the T4 CDS got side port for monitoring the LA pressure. Yeah. Are you seeing it doing this in your lab? Uh, do you find that monitoring helpful? Yes, I'm monitoring the the. the 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 any pressure the with the G4 system. Dr. Gang, did you uh, full course? Yeah. You did the full course? And now <sighs> I can see that any pressure is about 13. But if I have some th this <laughs> kind of very stiff angulation of the clip delivery catheter, then the pressure monitoring is not uh, not accurate. It's okay. then, it has the yeah, damping pressure. Yeah, we have to press uh, once more. Yeah. The degree of... Uh, you also is find that not that helpful in many of the cases. Yeah. Because sometimes it's very severe damping and the, the actually not a reflection of the actual airway pressure, especially if the capital is being talked uh, excessively. Then are you do you use the routine the pigtail monitoring with the, the in the array, array during the procedure? Yeah, yeah. Because we learned from uh, Dr. Saibokar that in the old day we put in another yeah. uh, mm -hmm. capitals you know, sideways and into the LA have a continuous real-time monitoring of the uh, airway pressure. We see the V wave. Sometime after the micro club, the V wave is significantly. Once uh, more uh, grasp video. again. Yeah, yeah but uh, now with the uh, new delivery system, uh, well, we try a few cases, but it seems that sometimes the res the result of the monitoring is is uh, the pressure quite severely damp. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any tips or track tips? For this kind of media or other imaging, <laughs> when <laughs> the visualization of the leaflet is very difficult. Yeah. The echo image, uh, entire yeah. echo image is not good in, in this yeah. patient. Yeah, the problem. Usually, medial commissural yeah. region is easy for uh, yeah. echo as compared with uh, lateral region. Okay, now yeah. it's, it can be seen. Well, actually, we've tried a few but only very few cases that we find the TEE extremely difficult to analyze. And we actually put in our eyes. Dr. Gang, uh, a little bit yeah, medially than initial position. In a few Please move uh, central. To remember that move got central place now a little bit. Excellent uh, images. Mm -hmm. But it's only very few cases. Yeah. Okay, this is the best. I have a question to Dr. Kam. Yes. Uh, Let's move. Usually, uh, we try to measure the pulmonary venous flow yeah. with respect to LA pressure because uh, now with the G4 generation, we can measure the LA uh, uh, pressure. Dr. Kang, yeah. move the clip uh, centrally a little bit. Success, uh, using the LA uh, pressure. I mean, do we need to have it normalized uh, after a successful procedure? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, it, I will be happy if I can normalize the pressure, but <laughs> usually it is, uh, if it is done, I'm very happy, especially in the degenerative MR cases. But in many cases, there is sometimes a little bit uh, lim lemnant MR, especially in the functional MR cases. Then I, if I, I, yes, I can try to minimal, uh, minimalize the, the LA pressure and regurgitation, but we must think that there can be some risk of the mitral stenosis. <coughs> we, can know, we know that the, a little bit lower degree of the mitral stenosis is not, uh, does not affect the long-term clinical outcome in quite prior subgroup analysis. But, but, but I have some cases of the uh, lower degree of the mitral stenosis occurred after the mitral Maybe uh, Maybe posterior uh, replant so in, in the implant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's, not uh, to normalize the pressure, but but decrease of the primary venous reversal is helpful to monitoring the, the outcome and success, and success of the procedure. And let, oh, here so, let me check the... post replay in, in, in treatment. post replay. 
Yeah, I think earlier on we were very enthusiastic about monitoring LA pressure, but yeah. we've been finding oh, an increased number of patients okay, who have very okay. stiff left atriums, uh, where we completely abolish the MR, but the left atrial pressure doesn't change. So we've we measure it, but we are less ah, okay, okay. dependent oh, on it these yeah. days. <laughs> Let's check the uh, yeah. Let's right, it again. Uh, very helpful to estimate the MR reduction. With okay, the this LA is a pressure, but some, some cases it's, so, it's not that okay. accurate. Let's check the color again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Kang, do you think you're not uh, perpendicular anymore because your floral image has changed and now. Yeah, let's um, check the orientation again. As I already let's check the orientation. And, well, it, it's not too bad, huh? Uh, it's yeah, okay. not bad at all. A little bit located. The other thing is that yeah. uh, one leaflet appears to be stuck at the yeah, top. Yeah, but it's of stuck that. in yeah. and, and the system. Yeah, posterior, posterior place, place is stuck. Yeah. Stuck again. Now it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now let me catch again until leaflet is on. And I will catch the posterior leaflet. Are you still grass to the anterior? Do you have a. Is your anterior leaflet independently grasped? No, it's not. Uh? Uh, if I'm not yet using the independent grasper, hmm. yeah, I will check, do it simultaneously. And if it doesn't work, I will do the independent mm -hmm. so, so Now the location is uh, not A1, A3, P3, it looks like. Yeah. You know, you might want to do a respiratory hole. Yeah, you, know, you go to cl the clip more immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in the yeah. central position okay. right now. Uh, Is it we'll possible to go back to uh, LA and start from top? Okay. Here, what do you think? Go to the media. Go to the media. Please move the clip more immediately. Can you put it back again? Yeah, it's okay. Here, what do you think? Okay, I moved a little bit medially. So you Rupture 된게 엄청 크네요. 그냥 코다만. 네. 예. 한번 보여주시겠어요? 임시. 오케이. 야. 야. 나. Let me check the angle. 오케이. Three D angles. 한 번만. 야, 오케이. Let's check the. Let's check the 3D angles. Okay, still good. And I'll catch this position. Yes, medially, do I go to the snicker? Shall we move uh, medially or not? Yeah, let's uh, grasp it uh, here. But yeah. <coughs> okay, I will try to catch until it's on. Yeah, yeah, okay. and the posterior. It's on. on. Yeah, it's on. Catch. Yeah. yeah, okay. Uh, Better than before. Okay. 60 degree. Okay, low. 60 degree. Let's check color. Yeah, yeah. full cross press. Yes. I think that. Ah, better than before. Yeah. <laughs> I think that the yeah, let's segment segment deploy here. here. Oh, yeah, 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 but more grasping, uh, causing a uh, cold injury on the reflet. Yeah, there's some injury. Yeah, yeah, but I think they're, yeah, 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 better than before. Oh, much improved. Yeah, <laughs> I'm function. trying to uh, catch the leaflet uh, at least, uh, at least. But sometimes, it, especially in this kind of uh, typical case, I catch and uh, uh, really let's check the permanent flow uh, previously. Uh, I in think the right that with the G4 system, the damage of the leaflet is less than the previous system. How do you think about that? It, it looks really good. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to uh, wrap the permanent. Oh, it's oh, much improved. Oh, the systolic rivers are disappeared, and the systolic dominant permeable flow indicating a decrease in area pressure, maybe. Much improved, yeah. Very nice. Yes. Well, let's check the let's stability check. and the pressure gradient. Yeah, clip, clip insertion is good. Yeah. 
both it looks very yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the color around the A3 is nearly reserved. Mm. At the, regarding the MR in A3 region, is less than mild, I think. Yeah. Okay, then how shall, shall I detach the clip or not? Okay, let, let's check. <laughs> let's check. <laughs> Been pressure grant. Uh, I think the, the uh, yeah. color flow in right now, the beam pressure is less than two or something like that. No flow acceleration, but yeah. uh, the flow acceleration from the MR jet, GW. Okay. Let's check the matter of uh, pressure gradient. So, Cam, your initial plan is to use additional clips or two clips or... Yeah, usually we plan the two clips. Yes. The beam pressure yeah. is one millimeter. Mm. Yeah. It's very good. I think uh, that we can place one good. more clip. Yeah. yeah, but let's check the uh, residual MR. And it's what would be the best clip for the second procedure for the close the functional MR component? Yeah, I think the XDW may be a diffuse uh, yeah. coaptation gap uh, caused by a functional component. The, I think there's just yeah. one uh, clip. Just at that me, yeah. XDW, I recommend. You mean XDW? <laughs> yeah. How about the yeah. opinion of the panels? What's the gradient? The one, gradient is one, two. One, just one minute. Uh, just one, yeah. One. Oh, I, I think I'll put another NTW. NT oh, you, you want to put the, another NTW? And Dr. you recommend the NTW? Yeah, and Dr. Ah, Kim's opinion I is XDW. Let's vote. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you prefer? <laughs> yeah, uh, Dr. Matsumoto, uh, please gather the voting. Uh, uh, if I create this station, just I put uh, NTW. NTW. Uh, uh, which one? NTW or XTW? We uh, I would like to use XTW. XTW. But, but how, how about, uh, about the opinions from panels? My many panels Dr. Yo recommended NTW. NTW. Huh? How about Dr. Kim? Yeah. You recommended NTW? Yeah, I, I, I can recommend either one, XTW. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, how about, how about yeah, Dr. I Matsumoto? Uh, XTW yeah. rather than Me? NTW. Yeah, yeah. Functional. Dr. Matsumoto. I, I recommend N NTW. NTW. I yeah, I think there are uh, slightly um, more <laughs> opinion uh, in NTW. Okay. Yeah, let's choose NTW. NT, N N okay. Of course, it's NT. Mm. Dr. Kang, do you. ADN is still low, three. Yeah. And jet width is. Uh, the NTW. jet is broad, so I completely agree that the, we, we should choose NTW. Mm. Mm. Okay. X, X. X. Put the cam on to spec. Just we should spec. Yeah, I think the NTW yeah. is possible. You yeah, see? would you try an XT or XTW as yeah. the first clip? I mean, from the perspective analysis, yeah. do you think an XT or XTW can do a slightly better job for this particular case? Yeah. Um, but I think the NTW would be a good choice. I think. NTW? <laughs> yeah. I think XTW is more prevalent. NTW. Dr. Bang, NTW is more yeah. prevalent in opinion. Yeah. Okay, let's choose then NTW. I will, use, I, will, uh, I will prepare the NTW because we plan to use the NTW, so there's only XW in this room. We will take, take the NTW in, from other room. Let's first, uh, let's start it with the first lecture uh, from yeah, Takeshi Matsumoto. Yeah, he, he, he will give a talk, optimal click clip selection with the G4 Matra clip. Matsumoto, please. Okay, thank you very much for kind introduction, Dr. Kim. Sorry, let me present uh, this uh, optimal clip selection with G4 uh, Mitral clip. This is a uh, new generation of uh, Mitral clip system. So now uh, Mitral clip G4 has four types of clip, NT and NTW, it is, has a uh, wide wide arm and XT, which has a long arm, and XTW, which has a long and wide arm. 
in my center, personally, I use uh, NTW first, then NT. So, uh, of course, uh, when we use NTW, we can ex expect a uh, much higher MR reduction. Then when we see a uh, reduction the volume, uh, there was, uh, there is, uh, it is a 30% reduction with a uh, single NT clip deployment and a 52% reduction with uh, NTW clip deployment. But one concept, of course, are uh, mitral stenosis after uh, clip deployment, but it is just a uh, 22% uh, increase of transmitral gradient, so it is not so much high. Let me share my uh, one uh, typical case. This is 75 years old already with uh, CBI ischemic MR. Mitral valve orifice area is 4.8 centimeter square, and the EROA is 0.37 centimeter square. And jet is just uh, coming from center of A to P2. Uh, I used uh, NTW in a little bit media side of uh, A to P2 region. So you can see uh, MR reduction is uh, much high and uh, just it's trivial or mild. And when we see a uh, 3D and face view, the tissue bridge is a little, uh, little bit wider than a standard clip. And when we see a uh, mitral stenosis, uh, mean transmitral gradient is just one millimeter mercury, and mitral valve orifice area is 2.4 centimeter square, 0.8 plus 1.6. So this is a crypt selection uh, slide, uh, NT versus NTW in my center. If patient has a mitral valve orifice area equal or over 3.5 centimeter square, I use uh, NTW first. But if it is under 3.5 centimeter square, I use uh, NT first. But but if jet is wide, I use um, and wide wide clip NTW. And let me talk about uh, also a non central MR. This is 71 years old already with severe AC prolapse. Here we can see a uh, prolapse of, of uh, lateral side of uh, commission and jet going to um, posterior medial side. And in this case, I used uh, NTW wide clip and tried to. Uh, grasp a uh, lateral commission, but it's, it is a little bit hard to go to a totally lateral side. So I tried to grasp this point. This is fast grasp, uh, C posterior leaflet, grip it down, then I slowly closing grip. Then the posterior leaflet slipped out. So this is second grasp. I use uh, independent grasping, anterior leaflet first, then grasp the posterior leaflet. In this uh, second grasp, I successfully grasp both leaflet. This is after grasping, before deployment, that there is a uh, residual jet, but it is just mild to moderate. So I decided to deploy clip, this clip. But just after clip deployment, <coughs> then posterior leaflet, it slipped out and SLDA occurred. Of course, uh, exact reason of this uh, SLDA is not sure, but one possible reason is I cannot go totally uh, to lateral side. So maybe I grasped uh, indentation between A1, P1 region and a to P2 region. So possibly if I used uh, just a standard NT, I go to a little bit more lateral side and maybe the, I can reduce the risk of uh, SLDA. So after this uh, SLDA case, I uh, prefer to use uh, just standard NT for non-central MR. So and this is after I said the jet of course became a uh, CB again and I sent this patient to uh, surgery. And uh, let me talk about also XT and XTW. I don't use XT because um, I think uh, there is a risk of uh, lifted tear. So I use NT XTW for just uh, best special situation. So uh, this is typical case for uh, it, 
for use of XCW in my center. This is 83 years old lady with severe P2 prolapse. This is an uh, explain mode I by commission the LBOT without color and with color. And uh, when we uh, measure uh, length of posterior leaflet and anterior leaflet, it is uh, 44.5 and 4.8 centimeter and uh, AP diameter of uh, mitral annulus is 3.0. And also uh, there is enough height in zero degree view, it's 4.1 centimeter square. So I used, uh, to, I decided to use XCW for this case. This is fast grasping. Clip it down and I'm closing. Then this is uh, after clip deployment. This case is uh, has a wide uh, P2 prolapse, but just one clip deployment, uh, MR became trivial. In my center, I use uh, XDW just like this case, which, uh, which means uh, prolapse of A2 or P2, and it which has uh, enough length of leaflet and AP diameter of uh, annulus and also enough height in zero degree view. So this is slide of uh, take home message. So clip selection NT versus NTW. If patient has uh, in my center, if patient has a uh, mitral valve orifice area equal or over 3.5 centimeter square, I use, first I use uh, NTW. But if it is under 3.5 centimeter square, I use just NT. But just is wide. If wide, I use a uh, wide clip. And uh, I also use XCW for some uh, limited situation. Uh, it, it it is a uh, prolapse of A2 or P2 and enough length of uh, leaflet and uh, enough uh, length of AP diameter of annulus and enough height in for uh, zero degree view. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your interesting uh, lectures for comprehensive review of the clip selection with the chief of mitral system. Is there any question or comments? First of all, yeah, I would like to ask to Dr. Uh, uh, Matsumoto. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, you already you recommend the MVA area three point five square centimeter. So, there is a, is there any some evidence or just no, no, not not nothing. Yeah. So, but uh, just um, from my experience, first I uh, use cut off four point zero, but now I use three point five. I think it's very important to, yeah, to apply in some East Asia. Yeah. Uh, how about you? Yeah. Actually, we have a little experience for that. So recently we introduced some G4 system. So at first, as, as you recommended, at first we try to use uh, some NTW at first, but sometimes it is not so easy to grasp yeah. in like this, this kind of case. Mm. So, in that situation, we change it to the XT. I of see. Your XT, yeah. I in maybe I uh, uh, in that situation I use an uh, independent grasping. Mm, How about yeah. KK? Do um, you know the size of three point five or not? I don't have a strong feeling about it. Um, you know there are, there are several points in the discussion. You know about the size, the independent grasping. Um, for me, I would say that um, I. I, I don't I look at the multiple factors, um, the location, uh, whether there are any caudal structures in the way, uh, yeah, whether so I pass or not, or stupid, the length of the caudal rupture, um, and also the annular dimensions. Um, so uh, 3.5 uh, that Takashi uh, proposed is actually a good guide to to think about and and then I would adjust accordingly. I try not to use independent grasping, um, but in my case yesterday I did uh, because uh, we 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 caught the anterior leaflet. It was a very long flail uh, caught, um, and we couldn't be sure about the posterior. We were able to then independently grasp the posterior. So I I, I think it's um, you know as you can see from uh, the Dr. Kang's very nice case. Uh, it's not a. I I think um, each case has to be sort of, uh, you know, assess on its own merits. You can also hear from the panel discussion that there are different ways of solving the same problem. So I, I do think that um, sometimes there may not be just one answer. It's good to hear different perspectives. Thank you. That's a good point. Uh, I want to ask Dr. Matsumoto, uh, Matsumoto 
Uh, regarding uh, the, the use of uh, micro clipping, uh, if the uh, uh, orifice uh, microfoil uh, area is less than 3.5, usually, uh, especially in my hospital, we try to avoid this because we are afraid of uh, uh, inducing mitral stenosis. So the question is, uh, how, how many of your patients develop a high pressure gradient of above five after you do the procedure in? I, like that's that's a good point. Actually, when we treat a small lady like a Dr. Kant case, um, such patient has a three point two or three point five uh, centimeter square. But uh, of course, one uh, important point is uh, mitral valve orifice area. But the other point is um, um, flexibility of uh, annulus and leaflet and the cord. So if we I see a doming of a uh, anterior leaflet like uh, rheumatic disease. I refuse such kind of patient if mitral valve orifice is over four point zero. But if not, I treat a uh, patient if even if uh, mitral valve orifice area is around three point zero. But I don't have a. Uh, from my experience, is not so big, but I don't have any patient I uh, abandon uh, procedure because of a high transmitter gradient. I think we yeah. are also aware of the recent publication from the US, uh, the expand. Uh, I think a uh, subgroup analysis where patients have a high uh, metaphor pressure gradient of even above six, and the long term result up to one year is still not that bad. Mm -hmm. Even though the pressure gradient is high. And, uh, you know, this is the advantage of this uh, system is that, you know, you can go, you can put the clip in and if your gradient's in high, you can take it off and you don't yes, make the patient right. worse. Yeah. So that's the real advantage, I think, of uh, these systems. So is there any, some, some cases, yeah, between some discrepancy before releasing the clip and after the clip, releasing the clip? Because you, before the original clip, you usually check the pressure gradient, but sometimes that pressure gradient is somewhat changed after deployed. Uh, you mean after procedure? Yeah. Uh, so, mm. yeah. Is there any that kind of case? Because we also some case experience because before releasing the clip, the my travel pressure gradient is not that high. But some borderline, but after release the clip, the some sometimes the matter, yeah, bell, yeah, pressure and some increase too. Yeah, I I always check a blood pressure during procedure. If the blood yeah. pressure is low, um, than usual, so I ask uh, an anesthetist anesthetist to increase blood pressure, then check a uh, transmitter gradient again. I think this is one way to. Uh, Sort of this problem. Yeah, and and the other thing there, we do see a small group of patients who have very uh, stiff atria, where the pressure gradient tends to go quite high with even one single clip. But when you actually, so we've been routinely also doing very careful three D measurements of the orifice created post clip, and sometimes that orifice is actually quite large, and it's just that these patients tend to always have, you know. Uh, high pressure is um, uh, in the left atrium and that creates a, a high gradient. Yeah. So we have at some stage, you know, with gradients of seven, occasionally eight, mm -hmm. where the mitral valve area after the clip is actually quite big. Mm -hmm. And we've, you know, fingers crossed release the clip and they've still done well. Thank you. And these, I think, are the, the groups of patients where invasive left atrial pressure doesn't really help, except to say they've got severe MR, but you treat the MR and their invasive left atrial pressures don't get better. Yes. So mitral gradient is a little bit tricky. It depends on blood pressure and the residual MR. So I most of the case, I check uh, mitral valve orifice area. Next lecture. Yes, ready by Dr. Kim. Uh, let's start. Uh, how to define procedure success and when we start uh, the, in echo guided decision making in echo uh, specialist view.
Uh, this is the guideline from uh, American Society Apple, from Echo People uh, published, in, published in 2019, uh, guideline for evaluation of valvular uh, regurgitation after percutaneous intervention. In this guideline, uh, these people uh, to identify the uh, equal or less than mild residual MR, they are uh, recommending uh, uh, like these uh, parameters the, in Doppler terms, significant reduction in color Doppler jet feature, uh, measuring vena contact with this and jet area and pizza radius. And especially in patient in the functional MR, the radius of pizza and shape of vena contractor is not circular. Well established uh, concept, we have to measure pinna contractor area in patients with uh, functional MR in ellipsoid form. After then, we have to check pulmonary flow uh, change at, uh, in patients with CBO MR, uh, the systolic flow reversal. The specificity is around 100%, but sensitivity is, is not so big. Uh, after clip uh, implantation, change in uh, reversal, disappearing of S velocity decreasing S velocity and increasing positive uh, S velocity and ratio between uh, two velocity or a ratio between time velocity integral of two velocity are uh, important. Uh, in uh, some recommendations, they recommend uh, in deep gastric view uh, measuring ability TVI uh, indicating increase in forward stroke volume, but I'm usually not uh, recommended a uh, usual manner. And finally, they are the successful uh, in, Less than mild MR, the uh, new onset spontaneous echo contrast in LA or A appendices. Up to then, let's um, move our uh, last year case, uh, 30 year old female, uh, typical P3 coda rupture and very eccentric MRZ, uh, pizza radius greater than 10 millimeter, indicating severe MR. You can clearly see a P3 coda rupture and 3D and 2D images. Uh, we tried uh, NTR clip last year. We, we, now we have G4 clip, all version, but last year we only have NTR uh, previous version of clip. After first clip implantation, uh, we can see uh, some jet here, indicating small pizza around three millimeter, millimeter and vena contractor is maybe less than three millimeter, indicating mild MR. We have uh, end the procedure right here. Let's take a move, a move, move to another uh, parameter. The mean pressure gradient was one milli uh, mercury, and then the uh, flow, systolic flow reversal in left of the pulmonary vein are uh, completely uh, normalized, but the uh, <coughs> peak velocity of the diastolic velocity is higher than systolic velocity, indicating uh, increased LA uh, mean pressure in patients. Uh, we tried uh, the transmitral beam pressure towards just one millimercury. Uh, we tried to uh, implant uh, uh, the second clip right here. After second clip implantation, you can clearly see new onset of spontaneous echo contrast into your left atrium right here and right here. And uh, the mm, trivial uh, MR after second clip implantation. After second clip implantation, uh, we uh, checked uh, the transmitral beam pressure at just two millimercury. This is a 3D image, a uh, complete uh, resolution of the P3 coda rupture area and uh, on site a 3D measured uh, opening area of the 3.6 uh, square centimeter. Uh, image of the poster echo shows uh, the well uh, implantation of two clip in medial commissural region and the 2D mm -hmm. opening area of the 3.8 square centimeter. You can see only trivial mitral regurgitation right here and a very successful case in P3 coda rupture in old age people. But uh, what parameter we have to measure? Uh, what parameter we uh, have to use uh, for deciding uh, and the procedure after clean implantation? Most important thing is, as you know, uh, it's a pressure gradient 
and the degree of residual MR. Uh, this is a well-known, this thing is a paper published in Dragon Intervention 2017, the balance between less MR and the more residual transmitral pressure depth of mitral flip are very important. Uh, they measure the pressure uh, invasively or echocardiographically, the color value is slightly different between the two methods, uh, invasively measured uh, number was oh, five uh, millimeter mercury. In echocardiography measured number was 4.4 millimercury. Uh, the patient with higher pressure gradient by invasively or echocardiography measured uh, showed uh, poor, uh, poor survival than uh, patient with low pressure gradient. Uh, combining the residual pressure gradient and uh, residual MR and the pressure gradient, the purple line indicating the poorest uh, survival rate uh, for, bo for both measurements, the patient with higher pressure gradient and the residual MR greater than uh, one plus was uh, a show poor, poor, poorest survival. Uh, in, uh, in contrast, patients with less pressure gradient and the greatest three MI showed a similar survival with a uh, higher pressure and, and uh, MI greater than uh, grade one MI. So balance between two components is very uh, important, but uh, there is no golden answer, no exact answer. That's, that's why we have some discussions in my track sessions. But uh, interest, we uh, just mentioned about pressure gradient increase at the procedure. I would like uh, some interesting uh, data published in ESC heart failure. This is a kind of case report, and uh, this data uh, acquired from just one patient after RV pacing. I, uh, after RV pacing, inc they increased the heart rate. The transmitral mean pressure gradient had a strong positive correlation mm -hmm. with heart rate. Uh, that means uh, we have to control heart rate uh, strictly after mitral collab using beta blocker or quaternary blocker or digital cell or something like that. I think the patient with a borderline mean pressure such as a six or seven may decrease under five using uh, medications such as beta blocker or quaternary blocker, something like that. We medical treatment uh, are also important after clip implantation. Let's move to uh, problem vein flow pattern. Uh, in our uh, case, Mm -hmm. the, uh, the flow pattern of left of a prone vein uh, extremely, uh, especially changes the improvement in prone vein uh, waveform, indicating disappearing of reversal S flow or blunting of S flow, uh, indicate improvement in prone vein waveform. Another measurement in prone vein flow, the change in S velocity, decreased in uh, peak velocity of uh, minus uh, S velocity or after change in uh, peak velocity ratio between systolic and diastolic uh, primary vein uh, peak velocity. Uh, in other measurement was uh, earlier indicating time velocity integral to ratio can be measured uh, between the two systolic and diastolic uh, velocity profiles. This is another, uh, another interesting paper published in AJC. They measure uh, peak uh, systolic velocity, diastolic velocity, and the ratio of peak velocity, the ratio between uh, area of time velocity integral. They compare with the uh, invasively measured area pressure. In overall population, uh, the mean area pressure was at the co positive correlation and negative correlation, especially the peak as diastolic uh, velocity ratio was had best correlation with mean array pressure. How about V wave? Uh, in uh, for V wave, uh, the correlation coefficient the highest when measuring a peak velocity ratio of S velocity and D velocity. When uh, they they are doing a uh, several analysis uh, between pre mitral clip and post mitral clip, the correlation coefficient slightly decreased uh, than before. But uh, uh, regarding the array. Uh, mean array pressure, peak ratio between S and diastolic velocity ratio at the best correlation before clip. After clip, uh, the peak S diastolic velocity ratio had the best correlation coefficient uh, in uh, among these parameters. Oh, this is another interesting paper published in two years ago in Jack uh, Cardiovascular Imaging. Uh, they measured all parameters invasively, echocardiographically, and pulmonary vein assessment. Or, uh, uh, 
what is the parameter for all cause mortality or composite endpoint? Composite endpoint of all cause mortality, elbow implantation, multiple surgery, and another uh, tier intervention in prong the follow up. They found that uh, you can see the bold character right here. Uh, in invasively changing buoy way and echocardiography finite pressure gradient uh, greater than five millimercury in polymer vein measurement, improvement in polymer vein waveform or change in accessibility ratio is an uh, independent predictor for occult mm -hmm. mortality or composite endpoint. Interestingly, they uh, found the predictor for two years survival. Uh, among various parameters, only prone vein assessment uh, with accessibility change, change in accessibility ratio, improved prone vein waveform is an independent predictor for a uh, two year survival. Let's check the area on the curve, it's around 0.8, indicating high uh, prediction performance for these parameters. Uh, the, the, the message I delivered today is only one. Let's check uh, the prone vein improvement or uh, ratio change is the most important thing for the uh, measurement uh, in this paper. Uh, let me show one case example on another patient. Uh, it, this is uh, uh, 2012 uh, um, October. The initially the patient had one week of fever. The register finding was ill-defined in crystal pestin right upper of rheumatic pneumonia. Just one day after the infiltration of right uh, lung field increased. What is the reason for uh, increase in infiltration? Uh, pneumonia aggravation, but prolonged fever, the pan-systolic murmur, we performed uh, echocardiography. We found that uh, endocarditis and the population of mitral valve uh, cause unilateral pulmonary edema like this, because especially in patients with eccentric emergence, the elevation in pulmonary pressure uh, occurred even only one side of a pulmonary vein. That's the reason we, uh, we have to measure both uh, pulmonary vein side right and left. Uh, yeah, as from that, uh, finally, uh, the uh, one paper, I found one paper published in press in JS, uh, intraprocedural assessment of mitral valve immediately after device deployment before release. We have to check to ensure adequately plate insertion as a stable tissue bridge and ensure that valve geometry is not distorted and then measure dietary pressure rate, uh, less than five millimeter mercury, measure residual embryo using 3D planet. I think the 3D planimetry on site is always challenging, but a very scared uh, procedure. Assessment the residual MR using number of location of jet and quantification of 3D banner contract. In, especially in ADC guidance recommend, 3D banner contract area should be recommended, but uh, it's always challenging. Look for complication after residual MI grade greater than two plus and embryo greater than three square centimeter and pressure into four millimeter less than four millimeter mercury. We have to consider another clip uh, over there. Let's uh, have a, a final uh, case. Uh, this is our uh, painful uh, case. Let's do we have only NTR clip. As you can see, this is the uh, typical atrial functional MI, extremely tethered posterior leaflet uh, due to flattened annulus, the anterior tension angle decreased. We tried uh, mitral clip list uh, last year because uh, the patient uh, with extremely old age and high risk of patient. We tried uh, grasping using NTR clip, last year we don't have G4 clip. We tried multiple times, then I failed to make an appropriate grasp. And after five uh, hours trial, we uh, failed our uh, appropriate grasp uh, of a mitral clip. As you can see, the quotation get uh, getting uh, increase uh, increase more and more like this. The degree of MR increase. After five hours of procedure, we found that after multiple trial of grasping of a mitral clip, we found that multiple injury in both leaflet. Uh, tearing and increasing MR grade, uh, we uh, this patient converted into the uh, surgery, but he survived well. In summary, uh, when we start echo guide decision making, uh, the balance between a uh, pressure gradient uh, grade MR is very important. But there was there is no golden answer, exact answer. Many discussion points are uh, always. Visual assessment of residual porous epicoptation. I didn't mention at that point uh, today, but always a 2D assessment of uh, 
residual products over cottage gun are always very important. Next step is Doppler assessment. Usually jet with this uh, pizza radius in a contract with this can, uh, can be measured. However, in patient with functional MR, the jet of MR usually not circular. So that's the reason why we have to measure 3D area something like that in patient with a functional MR. Uh, finally, uh, I uh, would like to emphasize the in-person coronal vein uh, improvement measurement, uh, disappearing of s uh, levels, uh, blunting or changing S uh, over D uh, ratio, velocity ratio as uh, an important pronouncy factor uh, in patient on the one uh, metrically. Finally, after uh, trying uh, grasping multiple times, uh, the chance of uh, leaflet injury is extremely increased. Uh, we have to consider when to convert uh, the patient into surgical surgery. We always uh, the uh, tough question in uh, mitral process. Thank you uh, for your attention. Uh, thanks for your wonderful lecture and very educational and informative presentation. So I think that there is a some time limitation. We move on to the live case again. Okay. Then we, if we have some time, we have some discussion for this issue. So Dr. Kang? Uh, yes, and we removed, we detached the first clip, as you can see in the angiography. We can Stable. see that we detached the clip and check the pressure gradient of the transmitral valve. Was, it was too mercury, very low. And as Dr. Kim and our uh, panelists recommended, we selected the NTW for the second clip for the functional segment of the uh, central region. And now, yes, now I am in the LA <laughs> yeah, with the NTW. And uh, did you measure a uh, mitral valve orifice area? Yes, the mitral valve Orifice area was 4.5 before the procedure. After yeah. deep deployment? After deployment. Oh, and it's been enough, you know, enough space. We did not measure yet. And Dr. Kim will come and will measure the mitral valve area. And maybe we can begin the second case with the mitral valve area. Dr. Kang and any, any panelists, I have some one question. Yes. Is there any dif different some strategy or different some technique for the functional and degenerative MR, especially for the height? Because uh, there is uh, some issue for the functional MR for the tissue tearing with uh, some yeah higher tension. So is there any some recommendation or strategy it's very KK or other. Uh, so yeah. in my center, I is, now I don't care uh, height in zero degree. More I more much more care about uh, rotation mm. of our system. So I try to uh, puncture uh, pure posterior side, mid posterior. Because uh, when we started, after we started to use a uh, uh, G4 system, most of the case we can finish with just one clip deployment, MTW. So I don't care uh, height because uh, if uh, we, of course, we uh, if the case we need to deploy two clips, the second clip need more height. But after uh, G4, I don't, I don't care much more uh, rotation. Yeah, I think the rotation for if you choose to use the XT um, would be, you know, uh, of more concern. I know and I've heard that some, uh, you know, uh, from from our, um, uh, I, I personally don't like to use the XT that much, but I know uh, there's been increasing experience with the XT and uh, it seems to be reasonably safe. I am a bit worried about leaflet tear, uh, especially when there, there's a lot of tension in the system. And you know, for example, in atrial FMR uh, uh, patients, um, so I usually for our heart team okay. discussion um, during the procedure, we, we tend to be very paranoid. And uh, I would say that 
um, if, if there is a lot of uh, leaflet, uh, I'm okay to use the XT, but I'll be very careful about rotation uh -uh. in those situations. But okay, my, okay. My, main, my main cases are NTW. Okay. Okay, okay, do you use XT or XTW? Um, the, the, well, depends on the case. I mean, if it's a very large flail gap um, with a long leaflet, I would use the XTW, but really it's uh, case by case. So we haven't... Yeah. Haven't had to do that, and you know the main times we use the XT uh, Ws are or XT systems are in the tricuspid space uh, for us anyway. Um, yesterday we did use oh, the yeah, XT, the uh, regular XT. Hmm. The MR is increased uh, after detachment of the clay. Uh, let's see. I think that that's enough from the poor segment. Let's yeah. target the yeah. right one yeah, over here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will attack the initial target segment to decrease the amount of the metal regurgitation. And now I'm in the LA. Let's okay. check the projectation. Okay. okay. Let's uh, move to oh. the yeah. pipeline. Let's check the pipeline image. And... Oh, okay. This is an anti double clip? Yes. Okay. Let's check the orientation uh, yes. over there. Yeah. Sorry, is this the, so this is a XT? Uh, NTW. 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 Yeah. NTW, okay. Yeah, yeah. Most of the panel recommended NTW. <laughs> I initially okay, okay, XTW. I, I, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, please rotate the counterclockwise. Yes, Counterclock rotation to target the central segment. Okay, that's yeah. good. Mm. Okay. Okay. Here. Okay, more lateral, please. Okay, over there. Well, here. Let's move to biplane yeah. imaging. Please, more centrally. It's too I lateral. move a little bit centrally. Yeah, over, okay. yeah, okay, okay. No. Let's uh, close the clip and check trajectory. Let's check. Do you check uh, anterior and posterior? Yeah, yeah, I checked, already checked. I will dive in. Oh, okay, trajectory uh, looks good. Yeah, and open Okay, okay, here. let's check the color. Yeah, yeah it's the point we... Uh, yeah. Okay, about more position. laterally, please. Yeah, a little bit laterally to catch the point. Oh, okay, that's the point we, yeah. we are planning. Yeah, okay, let's move to the biplane imaging. A little bit laterally more or not? Uh, let's check the color. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the point. I okay. see. Then I will catch. Uh, slightly uh, move uh, or lateral a little, little bit. A little bit lateral, a little bit. Okay, good, good. Okay. Okay. Let's catch. The image is better than before. Yeah, 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 yeah. After lecture, what what's the reason <laughs> for the improvement? <laughs> yeah. How about the Gripper and catch. Oh, yeah, the position is good. Yeah. Yeah, the gripper is down? Yes. Yeah, okay, let's cl close the clip. Yeah, this is 60 degree close of the anti double clip. <sighs> I think the, we uh, move the clip slightly more laterally. Yeah, more yeah, laterally, yeah. I, I think. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Mm. To catch. Okay, I'll move a little bit more laterally. Mm -hmm. About here. Open. Is it okay? Here oh, is it position? okay? Well, yeah. let's check the color. Oh, yeah. okay. That's the point. Here would be the neck of the pizza. And we'll catch. 
Creeper down. And. 한번 체크해볼까요? Small close 했습니다. I did the 60 degree close. Oh, yeah, that's the point. Yeah. Please close. Close, please. Very close. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh. Great job. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Ah, excellent image. Let's check the uh, clip insertion of both leaflet. Uh, I think that we can uh, post leaflet uh, more, more and more. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. a little bit more. You mean to move a little bit posteriorly? Yeah, 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 yeah. We can do. Okay, then I will open the clip and I'll move a little bit posteriorly. I did it. And you can you please check again about the car? Okay. Mm. Okay, I'm closing, closing, closing. Oh, better than before. Yeah. Let's check the 2D. Uh, posterior leaflet looks more stable. Uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. think I agree. It is much more leaflet. Yeah. I think the, uh, both leaflet insertions are good. Okay, are you using the independent uh, clipper mechanism? Yeah. Uh, the delivery mechanism? Uh, yeah, uh, but now I did not use, but it will be very useful if I use that. If it didn't work uh, to move the, the catheter or more posteriorly, then I would use the independent gripper, but now I didn't. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Very nice result. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. Very uh, nice result. <laughs> the real time, yeah. real time decrease of the regurgitation in Doppler was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah check the. I think the less than two. I I I, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Let's check the. Yeah. Uh, the clip is fully closed. Mm -hmm. Fully closed. Uh, how about the pressure gradient of the mitral valve? Yeah, mm -hmm. let's let's check the gradient. Yeah, looks very good. Yeah, easy number of this A bit increased, but still low, I think. But there is no development of uh, spontaneous oh. echo contrast in this patient. Mm. Ah, uh, four. Yeah, okay. gradient is four. Yeah, yeah. it was our original target to make just on the five. Yeah, I think the NTW was the best option yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> compared yeah. to the NTW. Thank you for panels. Okay, <laughs> then I will detach the clip. Are you, do you agree? Yeah. 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 NTW was a yeah. better option. The yeah. Thank you, Matsumoto, uh -huh. Dr. Yo. Okay. Saline, pull the shipo. Oh, there's some air. Try it. Try it. Try it. Okay. Okay, check the final mm. angle. It's good. Okay. Let's Okay, I'll remove one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Okay. Stable. Yeah, yeah look, and, and also looks nice, huh? It looks, the orientation looks very nice on the yeah. camera, yes. Also decrease MR. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, MR is further decreased. What yeah, happened? must have been some tension. <laughs> okay. There we go. So can you check the pressure? LA yes, pressure? I will check the pressure. Mm -hmm. Let's check the pressure. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, fresh gradient. Uh, you can clearly see increase in the S velocity uh, from the wave pattern yeah. than before. Okay, you can see the. Can you see the area pressure? Area pressure is now down without prominent V wave, and the pressure is about 10. Peak pressure is 10, and the mean is 5. Very nice. Yeah, there's very, no very nice. Yes. Yeah, Congratulations. Very nice. Out. Congratulations. Well yeah. How about the echo about the pressure gradient? Is four. Four. Yeah. Yeah. The S velocity in right of upper palm vein increased then uh, after first clean implantation. Yeah. Then let me summarize my case. This is the 74 year old female with a long standing heart failure with ischemic cardiomyopathy and newly developed of degenerative MR because of the coda rupture. So we treated the patient with the functional plus degenerative MR patient with two mitral clip NTW clips. And the result is quite good. I'm happy with the result. And thank you. Thank you for joining the, our live case and AP 2021. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations and congratulations. Very, 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 very interesting live case. And yeah, please, yeah, closing okay, so session. Con uh, congratulations for a very successful case. Fantastic case, uh, Dr. Kang and Dr. Uh, Dai Hee Kim and uh, her team of uh, Assam Medical Center. We learned a lot from this live case about uh, decision making and the technique. As you said, I uh, hope next year we meet uh, in Korea and uh, enjoy uh, live case and conference. Thank you very much again. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congrats. Congrats.